in the last video I mentioned we might be looking at a new lens but instead we have the Titan Evo 2022 series secret lab chair instead and be unboxing that today and seeing what that's like and maybe giving a bit of a review on it um, because the chair I have is not, not great it it barely barely works as a proper chair because it's so low down and my desk is higher than the chair so my arms are like arched upwards all the time or my wrist is so it's probably not good for my wrist or anything so um there's that <laughs> but yeah we'll be basically getting a good quality chair because it's a, a fair price i forgot how much exactly but i put it in the video somewhere here probably um but yeah it's uh right here The uh, Secret Labs Evo Titan 2022 Series S, and it's the Soft Weave Cookies and Cream. And all I did was just kind of get rid of this seal thing here, with the tally tape, because <laughs> yeah, it, it was raining when it arrived. So, oh, let's see. It. It's got the full diagram on the side, what it should look like. Yeah, because they have the, I think it's Omega and then Titan and other series, so this is the, the Titan chair that they have. I might put it on the floor, but it's got probably the how to assemble guide. Very, uh, very quite big. Your Secret Labs access pass. Welcome home to comfort, which is good because this chair is a knockoff quality of, I think, a respawn chair. And <clears throat> let's just show you a little bit of what's occurred. So there's fraying around the sides here, ran. I don't know what's caused that to be honest. And just in general, using the armrest so much has split them like that. And over here, this one's not as bad. But it's still split as you can see and then as you can see this is its max height and yet it's below the desk so my wrists are always reaching upwards so it's not pretty good we'll put this on the lid lots of packaging lots and lots of packaging Told you what to chase Told you how to run the race Every move was on the page But I didn't like their way Had to fight and misbehave Had to find a way to change Had to leave to find my way Caught up in a daydream I be my mind up there almost daily It's how I pass time, no opinions safely It's how I understand what I want in this place See, cause everybody wanna tell you bad things What could go wrong, what fame brings But success is a finicky thing And if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be I don't wanna let myself down myself
here we need to still install these magnetic covers so not too sure the orientation but you'd think it'd be something like that there we go so we need to install these two covers they have high magnets so as it says warning strong magnet Ooh. on both of them so probably best not to put it anywhere that you don't want to be uh, magnetized there we go hmm. okay clicks in that one now install the side pieces for the arms um if you click that in uh, i don't know what it does yet but we'll just install the side pieces for the arms which are these so these are the PU foam armrests. This is the right side. PU. Pew pew. For your FPS games. This is small, regular, extra large. I'm assuming no matter which uh, size you get, the armrests are generally the same. So these are just the standard ones. Apparently you can get others, but you know, these are just the standard ones you get. Maybe you gotta remove this first, don't know. Oh, you can move it side to side. Ah. Maybe if we move it that side. Let's sit down first. That's what it needed. Right. Okay. That's that part done. No, no, a lot of moving around. So, put that there. So we've got this little uh, last one, left side. It's got a good indication on the packaging. So as you see here, it says uh, left, right there, which is barely not readable because on the right one it says right in green, but it's right in red and black. So, but yeah, which is nice. It's color coded as well. Left is wrong. <laughs> I'm joking. So it's got this little hole thing, like a little sort of curvature in it, like an arc. This bit here. And where it's got this sort of, if you can see, it's got this sort of like curvature on the handle, just right down uh, there. That's where you match up this armrest to, that curvature, to that sort of metal curvature right there. So that's how you know how to install it. <sighs> All right, guys, it's uh, it's time to game. <laughs> no, this feels really nice. Like, if my arms feel like a good height, you can adjust it by going up and down, side to side. You can push these in, and then you push this in. You can assume this lifted up because we're up. To, you can sort of. It's pretty low to lift up, but yeah, you see. Wasn't that hard. I don't know what this does though. Oh, okay. So this, you can rotate the armrest. You can see this. Have it different angles, have it side to side. Have it up, this is max height, and then down. Really nice. So, this here is the height, and my feet are off the ground, like I'm a child. <laughs> Yes, because I am not that tall, so literally my feet don't really touch the ground. They do a little bit, but barely. This is so nice. Oh my god. <coughs> I look like a child. This is one of the nicest chairs I've ever had. Uh, this is the nicest chair I've ever had, to be honest. So The armrests feel really good quality. They, it is very prone to dust getting on it, so... Yeah, I could assume it'd be quite hard to clean it. Like, there's literally just dust on it every time I'm touching it. Um, yes, this soft weave fabric feels really nice. Nice and cushiony, like, it feels really comfortable. Like, my arms actually feel like they're resting, like, comfortably, not like on hard plastic. 
You can remove these quite easily if you wish to, but that didn't take any effort at all. Putting them back in takes no effort. You can replace these, you can buy new ones, you can buy nice ones, quite softer ones. Um, the height is really nice. This is the small shirt, and it takes up to 90 kilograms. Um, my feet don't touch the ground. <laughs> this is the max height as well. It's also got lumbar support, so if I can f somehow feel it, you know. Oh, there it is, there's the lumbar. Uh, it's supposed to support the lower back, isn't it? Okay, that's too high. Oh, that feels really nice. And then you adjust the curvature. Oh. Right there, damn. You're like, you, know, you know when you hit the spot and it's like, yeah, right there? <laughs> that's what it felt like. Now you can really feel the lumbar behind you, like it's noticeable. And then, oh, I haven't even talked about this yet. So we have the headrest. Now, this is some plush cushiony. And look at that, sort of. Like you squeeze the air out of it. All you gotta do is this. That's what I love about it. That's what I love about it. You can just throw it up there. You'd be like, hey guys, I've got, got to go game. <laughs> Done. It's magnetized from here upwards. So I'm assuming it's got soft magnets. So maybe strong magnets because it's got to go through um, two pieces of. So it feels like the magnets are quite spaced out, but they're probably quite strong. So that they're, they're quite thick actually, but they're spaced out. So from here to here, instead of mention the magnets of the pillow, even here. But then from here onwards, there's probably something behind here, metallic or something, and it's just sticking onto it. So you can readjust it quite nicely as well. Let's actually get to a good height, so that's actually usable for me though. Okay, that's actually pretty nice, usable, I'd say. Um, you know, I'm not the tallest person in the world. Oh yeah. Your head feels your, your neck as well, damn. Like, you, you just kind of like sink into it as well. It's actually that sort of type of fabric. It's like, even though it's got that back piece, that's quite, you know, hard-ish, but it's still quite soft because it's, it's not supposed to be like a cushion and it folds in as well. I'm not too sure what type of magnets they're using because I don't know any magnets that fold like that. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what's in the back of the headrest, but it's really nice. And then you can just kind of like sink into it as well. Yeah, damn, that feels really nice. Like you feel comfortable. Like you, I feel like I want to sleep here. And my legs, they actually have room to move around, like my legs. Before they were kind of like entrapped, it felt like. And it feels like I could just like go down like really far. I'm like, alright guys, I'll catch you later. I'll, uh, I'm gonna go sleep now. Uh, wait a bit when it's done. Ah oh, yeah. It's actually really nice. Now, obviously the cost of it I don't fully remember. Oh, and the and the recline as well, like. It's a, it's a slow but smooth recline. For my other chair, it was like, from wherever the position was, it was like a, and you were wanting to go here, it just snapped back and it would hit you. But for here, I do that, and it's a slow, smooth recline. Like, it doesn't come back and hit me on my back, which is really nice and lovely. Um, so yeah, great chair, amazing chair. I can see why it's so highly rated. I would rate this pretty much a four, 4.8 out of 5 to be honest like it's the only thing I don't like is the assembly diagram is a bit off in one area that's about it but other than that this is really really lovely like the chair quality feels amazing the support is so nice the chair in general just feels fantastic to be honest one of the best chairs I've ever bought uh, this other chair, my old one, is going to my brother, so I got rid of it already. 
quite easy to move around in. Nice swivel. Yeah. Overall, I'm very happy with the purchase, to be honest. It was, um... Was it 300 or something? 400 pound, nearly? Something like that. Like, 370 pound, I think I'm going to guess that. But yeah, it's a great chair. I feel, it feels amazing. I've got no problems with spending that money on a really good chair. Because other than that, you're going to buy one of those thousand pound chairs that are fully ergonomic and made by these few companies and I'm not spending that much money on a chair I mean I'm sitting at home on my desk a lot um, and I just had the vaccine second dose the other day and so I'm still recovering from that as well and this chair really makes me feel comfortable knowing that you know it's gonna get me through those last few days I left so yeah <laughs> that's gonna be it for me guys thank you guys for having enjoyed today's video and I catch you guys in the next one where we should be looking at the lens. The lens is for this camera I'm currently using for photography for more personal close-up so it'll capture more like skin complexion and like close-ups better quality or let more light through, better focusing, you know so much more than what the previous one has and it's like the cost of the camera body at that point so but yeah, that's going to be for me guys. So please like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. If you have any recommendations, please comment down below. And I'll catch you in the next one.